Well, it's official. Modeling is dead. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My apologies for the way everything looks right now. I actually have a subscriber's quad cortex set up in front of me. I'm actually setting it up and dialing it in for him, putting a bunch of presets and a lot of captures in for him. So all he has to do is turn it on and play it. <laughs> so shout out to my friend Jeff Cornell. Uh, this thing's coming your way very soon and it's sounding amazing. And while we're talking about the quad cortex and presets and captures and everything, uh, feel free to click the link below in the description and get some awesome captures, presets, or whatever for your quad cortex, or you know, get some profiles for your Kemper uh, on my website, ToneWars.com. Okay, so regarding the intro and the thumbnail, no clickbait and no hyperbolic statements here. I honestly think that modeling is dead. I've actually been saying it for about a year now, probably a little more than that. If you watch my live streams, people ask me all the time, like, what do you think the future of modeling is? Or what should I get a modeler or a profiler? And I always steer people towards profilers because I think that's the way of the future. Any company that's about to release a new digital platform that only does modeling is literally the equivalent to Sony coming out with a new VCR player that maybe has Wi-Fi or something. I mean, it's, in my opinion, it's outdated and there's better tech out there and profiling is far superior to modeling. And that again is the way everything is going now and there's a reason for it. So if you're a company right now that's about to release a new digital platform that only does modeling, you're kind of wasting your time or maybe you're just going after a lower price point and you want to service people that can't afford the, you know, the upper end stuff that's out there. And I get that. There is a space for lower priced products out there for people who can't afford the top of the line stuff out there. But uh, I would just say that if, if you're releasing a new product that only does modeling, then you are either going to be releasing an obsolete product from the get, you know, it's obsolete, or you're just going after a lower tier price bracket. And I don't mean that with any disrespect. I mean, the market just is what it is and trends are what they are. And you have to follow those trends and there's reasons for them. I mean, you could see it with the way all the digital platforms are going now. I mean, Headrush just released the Headrush Prime and it profiles. Uh, you also have the Tonex, which also profiles. Obviously the Quad Cortex, which profiles, and then you have the one that started it all, which is the Kemper, which profiles as well. And let's not forget about this new product called NAMM, N-A-M-M, -M, and it is a profiler that you use on your computer, and it's a free software that you can get as well. I'll be doing a review of that sometime in the near future. So basically, everybody's kind of going that direction, and I know there's a lot of really good reasons for it. Now, before I get started with all that, uh, let me just address something that is probably going to happen in the comments section right after people watch this video, and it's all the Axe Effects guys, <laughs> especially the cultist Axe Effects guys. I mean, I'm mainly addressing the cultists that are in the Axe Effects community. So before you guys get your panties in a wad and get all mad at me because how dare I say that modeling is dead because the Axe Effects is still doing quite well and we love our Axe Effects. I'm glad that you love your Axe Effects, and you're right. The Axe Effects is still doing well, but I'm telling you, uh, profiling is the way of the future, and it's not going to be long before Axe Effects switches over to profiling as well. They'll probably keep the modeling aspect of that product, but they're going to definitely do profiles in the near future. So all you cultists, before you come over here and give me all these negative comments and thumbs downs and all that kind of stuff because of what I'm saying here, just remember you're the same guys who are going to definitely switch over to the new Axe FX product that also does profiling. And you're going to shout from the rooftops how amazing that product does and how much better it does it than everybody else. So before you make fools out of yourselves and give me a bunch of negative comments telling me how wrong I am, I need you to understand that. And for all you guys who are saying, oh, you're just saying that because you sell captures and profiles and stuff like that on your website and you just want to drive more traffic to that kind of stuff so that you can make money, well, you're wrong because I also sell presets for the Line 6 Helix and all of the products associated with it. And I'm also a partner on their marketplace. And I love the product. I think it's very good. 
But again, I think everybody that is making digital platforms now are steering everything towards profiling. Now I know it's called different things like capturing, profiling, cloning. Let's just for the sake of this video call it profiling so I don't have to keep saying all three things. So let me just quickly go over the reasons why I think profiling is better. Number one, you can have any amplifier you want in your profiler. There are plenty of people out there making profiles for all these different products that actually do profiling. And if you want, let's say, some obscure amplifier out there, chances are you can find it. And if you can't, you can always reach out to these guys and see if they'll do a profile for you of it, if they can get a hold of that amplifier. And if there's enough demand for that, they'll happily do it for you because they want to make money. We live in a now society. I mean, we want everything right freaking now, and we don't want to wait for it. And with a profiler, you don't have to wait for things. You can get anything you want whenever you want. I know there's exceptions to that, but for the most part, what I'm saying is absolutely true. Number two, every time a new amplifier comes out, you can count on the fact that those profiles will be available very soon on all of the digital platforms out there that do profiling because all of us profile guys will go out and get the amplifier and do the profiles and sell them to you. So you don't even have to wait for profiles of new amplifiers, especially the hot new items like the Mesa Mark 7. I mean, I already have a capture pack out with that right now on the Quad Cortex. Shameless plug. Number three, you can update your unit whenever you want. So if you're tired of playing the profiles that are in it right now, go online and search for some new ones and get whatever you want. You don't have to wait for the company who made that product to do an update with hopefully those amp models in it. And even if that was the case, that only happens a couple times a year with most digital platforms. Again, you can have them whenever you want. Number four, with modelers, you're pretty much stuck with the way they did the model of that amplifier. Let's face it, some of the modelers that have been around a while, the older models in those amplifiers just don't stack up against the newer ones because they've updated the unit but they're often not going to update the models within that unit and redo them for you. You're kind of stuck with however they sound and you can't really fix that. With profilers, if you don't like the way somebody profiled an amplifier, just go online and find a better one that suits your taste more. Or maybe there's some more suitable ones within the pack that you bought. Number five, if you have a really nice rig, but you just don't want to take it with you when you go out on the road or even do a local show, you can profile that rig and take it with you. You can't do that with a modeler. Number six, with most profilers now, you can actually profile your overdrive pedals, which I think is awesome, and they do a great job with it. I have a whole bunch of profiles of uh, my overdrive pedals in my Quad Cortex, and they're freaking awesome. And last but not least, let's face it, profiling is better than modeling. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just say that. I steer everybody towards profiling now as opposed to modeling. I honestly think it's much better. You get a better and bigger variety of profiles and of amplifiers, and I honestly think it sounds and feels better. I always say it like this. I mean, modeling is pretty much like a really nice full color laser jet printer that gives you a really nice copy of something. It's glossy, the colors are all there, the details there, and it looks really good. But profiling is a 3D printer. So it's actually more three dimensional and you have a better sound and feel and it captures even more of the amplifier and sounds even more realistic and feels more realistic as well. And I know what some of the XFX guys are gonna say, especially the ones that are kind of in the cult uh, version of the fans of the XFX. You know, they're gonna say, well, we get updates all the time, but you know, hear me out here. I mean, most of the time when you get updates for that, I know because I'm in the message boards, I'm in, you know, all that stuff. I see it all the time. You name the product, this is the same thing across the board. Every time a new update is released, 90% of the guys that own that product are complaining about why didn't they do this amp or this channel of this amp or they didn't give me the amp I wanted or the channel that I wanted. And man, when are we going to finally get brand X or amp X or whatever? I mean, they're never satisfied. But if you have a profiler, you can go online and get any amp you want for the most part. Now let me refer back to and expand upon one of the earlier points that I made. Like I said, when new amplifiers come out, 
you know, when you have a profiler, you can get those captures or those profiles almost immediately, you know, or at least within a couple weeks of that being released. But if you have a modeler, you're going to wait years or possibly it'll never come out on the modeler. So a perfect example is the Mesa Mark 7. I actually captured it in the quad cortex and I'll play a few samples of that for you right now. <laughs> So that was the Mark IV mode in the new Mesa Mark VII amplifier, and I think these came out freaking amazing. They sound and feel awesome, and man, I tell you, anybody who buys that pack from me is uh, going to love these, and I've already got a ton of great feedback on them, and they're selling like crazy, and they're awesome. There's DIs and full studio captures in there and some presets as well. Now for Jeff here, I actually put those in his quad cortex, but I'm actually setting it up with some custom ones as well. And one of the amps that he requested was the EVH Stealth and he wanted the red channel. So here's a couple clips of that right now. <laughs> I mean, these came out really freaking good, and I can do custom captures for people with the Quad Cortex or the Kemper. They just tell me what they want and what channel they want, and I just ask them, like, what settings do you like or what type of sound are you looking for? And I can dial it in accordingly and make several different captures or profiles for them with uh, a you know, basic range of settings for them. And I'm sure between the several captures that I give them, they're going to find something that they freaking love. These are things that you just can't do with modelers. You can't do custom stuff. Yeah, you can make custom presets. I do it with custom IRs and settings and stuff like that. And that's cool. But the amp model in that modeler is only going to be as good as the company made it. They can't improve it at all. The best thing you could do is dial it in the best you can and get a good IR and pair it with it. And that's as good as it's gonna get. But with the profilers, that's not the case. I mean, everybody has a different flavor when they do profiles. I mean, I use different mics than other people. I use different cabs. I set the mics differently. I set up the amp differently. So if you gel with what I do or with what other people do, you're going to find your guy, you know, that does these for you. And you're going to pretty much stick with them. Or if you like the variety, you can do that as well. The nice thing about profiling is you can get 10 different profiles of the same amplifier and they'll all sound and feel quite a bit different from each other and that's the variety that you're looking for. I mean, yes, some of them you'll like more than others, but that's really what it's all about. So like I said, not only do you get a bigger variety of amplifiers with profilers, but you also get a bigger variety of the versions of those amplifiers as well. 
And the last point that I want to make to put a bow on this whole topic is this. If profiling was inferior to modeling, all of the digital platforms would not be going in that direction. They would be staying with modeling. But it seems like all of them are going after profiling. And that seems to be the trend now, and that says something to me. It says that they know that profiling is definitely the better way to go. Again, I think a lot of them will probably give you both. They'll probably keep their models because they've already made them, and it's probably not a lot of work to put them in there for people who like that. But I guarantee you this, everybody that has a unit that does both, profiling and modeling, is always going to prefer the profiles. I'm telling you. I mean, the Quad Cortex has plenty of models in it, and I'm not interested in playing any of them. I've tried them, and they're just so-so. I don't care for them at all, but I love the profiles that I do because they're more custom to what I like. And it seems like my customers who buy my, you know, my capture packs also are pretty much agreeing with what I just said. Because if they were happy with the models that were inside, they wouldn't be buying my capture packs or other people's capture packs as well. That's a pretty telling sign right there. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to see what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Well, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And again, shameless plug. I mean, this is how I keep the channel going here. If you're interested in getting some really good captures or profiles, click on the link below and go to my website and get something awesome for yourself. I'm telling you, the Mark 7 Capture Pack came out super good. I mean, they are freaking awesome. And you have DIs and studio captures in there, as well as a couple of presets are ready to go with effects and everything. Scenes, the whole nine yards, they're all done. Everything's even labeled for you. You can literally just take this, plop it on the floor, plug in your guitar, and go live with it, and it sounds incredible. Well, thanks to all my subscribers and Patreon supporters and ToneWars.com for sponsoring this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified every time I either go live or come out with a new episode. Well, I got a lot more stuff coming up for you, especially now that I have my new computer all set up, and I'll see you on the next one.